I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine, I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chances stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but... Unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses? Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Ah, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful.
against. Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvellous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely? You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. <laughs> Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm, uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. Salt on the senses, it's like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency there rise complex, meaty notes. It it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. 
You're... welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. Certainly not what I expected. I wonder what other surprises await me on my pilgrimage. <laughs> 